Hello guys, I'm the Darth Frog and welcome to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival First Look. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a tutorial because we're going to find cotton. I don't actually need cotton quite yet, but I've seen that quite a lot of people have trouble finding it. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to find it today. So let's get started. So I'm actually starting right next to the crashed ship, as you can see. So you can get to this point the game easily by yourself. I don't think I have to explain this part. Okay, so here is the first very important thing. Corn. Corn is going to be your life savior. You actually can't eat it if you tried already. And if you didn't, now you know that. So, as you can see, you can't eat it. But what you can do, it, do with it is when you find a walk, you can just place the corn next to it and get a lot of food this way really easily. So, that's how we're gonna survive, not starve during you know, this adventure. Okay, so here are actually some walks, at least one of them. But one is enough to demonstrate. Let's just place on some of that. And every two to three corn is eaten. There we go. We will get wok milk. So that's probably the easiest to get food in the entire game, actually. And that's what's gonna keep us alive. Alright, let's keep going forward. So along the way you want to get any um, help you might want. You can get. I'm actually stuck in my creation right now, and there's a farm bot attacking. But I mean, it's not really a farm bot; it's the top bot. Those aren't the easiest, so they aren't a huge deal. So there are those outposts, right? Like this one, for example. You can get seeds from here, for example. So I and also a lot of food and soil. So I would recommend whenever you come up in front of these. Mm, take stuff that you might need, like for example wood, because this will save you a lot of time and hassle. Because you know what, it's sometimes you might actually want to, you know, there might not be any walks nearby, but you might have some water and fertilizer, and you might just need, you know, food quick. So then, um, actually farming a little will be a valuable solution. Now, whenever you're looting those places, though. Keep track of your inventory because it's not infinite, in fact, it's very much limited. Oh, so, as you can see, I'm thirsty right now, so I'm gonna drink some of that wok milk that we just collected. As you can see, it was a lot of thirst and a little bit of food. And what I can see on the other side of this lake is actually a mechanic station. I haven't been to one yet, so I'm definitely going there on my way. Looks like there's an embers biome over there. Really close to spawn, that's nice. I also wonder what's that red thing in the sky over there. I might check it out sometime. Alright, so we have arrived at the mechanic station. Okay, so once you arrive here, obviously the first thing that we want to do is go recover the battery as well as kill the hay button here. Hello there. They aren't too hard, so you shouldn't have any issues. Although I did have a little here. Oh well. Also, keep in mind that taking damage will take away your food quicker. So try not to take any if you can. Also, and those mechanic stations are useful because you can sleep in a bed if you don't have one, which will let you, you know, set a spawn point to further in your journey. Because finding cotton can take a good while sometimes. It all depends on your luck really, how well your world generates. Alright, so now that we have this guy over here, let's craft ourselves a seat. So basically what this seat will allow us to do is um, go through the night without being attacked or anything by simply, you know, placing it somewhere high enough so the farm boss can reach us and you know AFK in there. So another thing that you really want to do is 
you can take any advantage you can by looting all the loot boxes. And gasoline might be useful if you plan going all the way by car or some other vehicle. No, I also found a wheel here, that's nice. Alright, there we go, we have our seat. So it's a good thing to have in your hotbar actually, just place it in there. So for example, let's say a fireball chases me, I can just plop the seat down up here, wait for my health to regenerate, even jump out and stand on it. So this will help us. So while you're searching for the cotton, you are actually looking for a very specific biome. Um, the biome has like an autumn feel to it. It has like colorful leaves and stuff. It has those pink kind of flowers growing in it. So for example, we can see some trees over there that are kind of co colorful. Or this one right here, but we're searching for a whole forest of them. The forest probably isn't going to be too dense though, too. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I figured that carrying the vehicle with us is more of a problem than a benefit, really. So we're just gonna take the most important stuff and leave the vehicle behind, actually. Alright, goodbye, car. You'll be remembered. Okay, so moving around will be much easier now, however, inventory management will be harder like that. You can just ignore this guy. So keep that in mind, and also I just realized what's right here. Okay, hold on. So right here we have the trader thing, so if you're really hungry and you don't have any seeds, this is actually a great place to go to because you can find free seeds right here. Hi, we can't really trade anything because, well, we don't have anything. But it's that's not what we came here for. We came here for this. So if you're really, really starving, you can take that stuff. And he won't be mad, I think. Alright, so we took some of those seeds and now we can continue onward. Remember to keep looking for those kinds of leaves. This right here actually looks kind of similar, this part in particular. So another benefit of the seed is that you can just do this. And climbing stuff is way easier like that. So then you just place the leaf down, record the seed, go up again. And go on right here with this seat. Don't just remember to take it back, you know. Don't leave it in here. Okay, so we're actually going to go through the embers biome. But if you do so, be careful because last time I've been in one of these biomes in my test world, I found a not so nice surprise because um, I was like walked up to. A little uh, bot. It was all melted down and all. I was like wondering, ah, oh, interesting. And then all of a sudden, I heard some noise. I checked and it turned out to be uh, the big red farm bot. So be careful of those because those are definitely tough. Although I have not engaged one yet. Right, the forest right there up ahead is looking pretty promising, I'm not going to lie. This might be it, although it kinda looks too dense. We will see. Yup, this is indeed the one! Here we go! We just found it and it took me like 20 minutes, including the intro and all that stuff. So basically what you want to do is, as you can see, um, red trees and also yellow trees, basically autumn. Um, the ground is yellowish and there are a ton of those flowers right here. And that's how the cotton itself looks like, so basically kind of like a popcorn and a stick. So let's throw something away. 
pick it up. And that's insane. Cotton. There we go. And once you're actually here, there's a ton of this stuff. So, if it ended up far away, it's definitely a good idea to stock up on that. Uh, as you can see, it didn't. It wasn't really far, was it? Now, if you've been going one direction for a while, uh, far away from your base, and you still can find it, I would suggest returning back to your base and trying to go in another direction because maybe it's right behind you and you just went in the wrong direction. But yeah, this forest can be spotted from quite a good distance, not gonna lie. And as you can see here, a lot of these flowers. So those are some um, easily recognizable things about it. Here is another good view from the distance, a lot of leaf trees, trees. Oh, and also be careful of those guys, because these guys can spawn in autumn biomes apparently. It's not the first time I've seen those in autumn biomes, and I'm not gonna lie, I've seen them only in a city once. Um, once, as I said before, um, in the ember biome, and all the other times I've seen these guys. It was near or in an autumn biome, so be careful because those guys are definitely strong. So here is another good look at how the biome looks like in daylight. As you can see, it definitely stands out. There are all those orange leaves and all those yellow leaves. So you can, for example, compare it to the normal forest over there. That one's definitely more green than this one. There are also some trees over here that are normal and are also totally green. This one is definitely orange. I'm slightly colorblind, so if anything, it should be even harder for me. But yeah, I was the frog. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another one. Bye!